How many of you know that Jesus is God? Jesus is God, amen? Yeah. God the Son, hallelujah? Yeah. God the Son, hallelujah? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So just imagine, God the Son was in that tiny form, that tiny, tiny form for a moment in the womb of his mother. God who made heaven and earth, who made Uganda, who made this continent, Africa, who made everything that was created. John tells us there's nothing that was made, amen? amen. Nothing that was made that Jesus Christ did not make because he is the word of God. But that God came down into the form of an unborn baby in the womb of a 14 or 15 year old girl. Let me say that one more time. God who made heaven and earth, God who made heaven and earth took on the form of an unborn baby. Now, we're talking about legalized abortion. In my country, we have legalized the murder, the killing of an unborn baby. I come from the USA. 40 years ago, almost 40 years ago, we legalized in the USA through the high court's decision. For any reason the mother should choose, up till the day of birth, the murder of the baby in the womb. The baby that's in the same form that Jesus Christ was in, in the womb of Mary. All of us were there. All of us were this vulnerable. You know, the womb of a woman should be the, the safest place in the world. Amen? Amen. Shouldn't it? <laughs> Where you just, all that God requires that little baby to do is just grow, right? Just live and grow. But very wicked power is very similar to King Herod. Remember King Herod? Who killed all those little babies, trying to kill the baby Jesus. Very wicked powers, powers that have put God out of their minds. I'm talking about people who do not fear God. I'm surrounded by young people right here who you say you fear God, right? Do you fear God? Yeah. <laughs> I fear God too. But there are many powers in this earth that do not fear God. And if they don't fear God, they are subject to the kingdom of Satan, let me tell you. And Jesus has warned us to be wary. To be wary. You see, Joseph and Mary, if you follow the story, we won't read it all, but they were wary. They knew what Satan was up to. They gave glory to God. They didn't fear Satan in the way that they feared God, amen? Because God is greater, infinitely greater than Satan. The scripture says, greater is he that is in me, that is in thee, than he who is in the world. Amen? Amen? Nonetheless, nonetheless, we need to know what Satan is up to. Amen? We need to know what he's doing. You know, there was a time in my country, the USA, when people were very poor. Believe it or not. I know everyone thinks of the USA as a very rich place. But there was a time when the USA uh, was, was, was quite poor. And people were struggling. And there were many revivals in the USA. People came to God. People gave their lives to God. And God raised them up out of poverty to be the, one of the, the most powerful nations on the face of the earth. But what happens when sometimes when people get raised up is that a generation comes that forgets who raised them up. And they start to say in their dark and wicked hearts, we did it ourselves. We did it ourselves. Who is this God? If you remember in the book of Genesis, there was a Pharaoh who came who didn't know the name of Joseph. Do you know the story of Joseph, you guys? The story of Joseph who led into slavery, led into captivity, only to be raised up to be second in command to the king of Egypt. Amen? Because he feared God. Amen? But a Pharaoh came about 500 years later that did not know the name of Joseph. And he did not recognize the God of Joseph. The God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what's happened in America. That's what's happened in America, in Europe, and in the United Kingdom. In the Western countries, which once were a place of great blessing from the Lord God because they believed the gospel. They ministered the gospel to people here in Africa. Now the situation has reversed, brothers and sisters. I'm telling you, you who fear the God, 
of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you young people, about the same age that Mary was when the angel appeared to her, to her the roles have been reversed. You are in a position where God is calling you to stand in battle, in battle against the powers of this earth that don't know God. Can you say amen? amen. Let me tell you, the Holy Spirit is able, more than able, to make you stand. But you've got to know what Satan is up to. Forty years ago, we legalized the murder of those babies. Over 55 million of them have been murdered since that day. Over 55 million tiny innocent children torn apart. If I try to stop it, if I go to the place where they kill the babies there, and I try to block it and say, lady, don't, don't do this, don't kill your baby, they're going to take me and put me in jail. I've been arrested over 12 times in the state of California alone and thrown in jail just for showing the pictures, the pictures I'm going to show you tonight, of the little babies that were murdered. And just crying before people at universities, at schools, and on the streets and saying, please, please stop killing God's children. Stop killing God's children, amen? Stop murdering God's children, but their hearts are hard. So the Holy Spirit has put his finger on you, amen? amen. On Africa, on Uganda, on East Africa, because you fear God. If you will continue to walk in the fear of God. You know, Solomon says at the end of the book of Ecclesiastes, he said, fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the duty of all human beings. I'm telling you, if you will allow those words to be etched into your heart, and when you hear people coming from the Western countries, from different organizations that represent them, non-government organizations and other other influences from the U.S., Europe, United Kingdom, and telling you that we should legalize abortion in Uganda, telling you that you should kill the baby in your womb, speak up. Turn with me in your Bibles one more time to uh, Proverbs 31, 8. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 8. Proverbs 31, 8. Most people think of Proverbs 31 as the verse, as the chapter that talks about a godly woman. But Proverbs 31, 8, speaking to a young man specifically, now young men, I am speaking to you, young men. We were talking about Mary, about the example of a young woman. Proverbs 31 is addressed directly to young men. The words of King Lamuel, which his mother spoke to him, a young man, a young king. Now you young men who fear God here, because the fear of God is in your hearts, you are young kings. You are young kings. Amen? God has given you authority as his children, as his servants, over the powers of this earth that do not know him, the powers that are controlled by lies. You t let me tell you, you take that authority by the power of the Holy Spirit of truth. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth.
had the uh, international parliamentary union, it confirmed what we had agreed in the uh, African Union 2010. Uh, the government, the parliament of it, to authorize abortion in every country of Africa. You get my point? Recently, Kenya, it was put into the position. <laughs> And I'm telling you that because of me, this ego is in America. This ego is. And I'm telling you that because of me, this ego is in America. This ego is.